Hello there. Welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. You are you. While we not so patiently wait for the announcement of what the frick Curiosity found up on Mars that's gonna rewrite the history books. What is it? What is it? Just tell us. Billionaire Elon Musk is busy keeping Mars on our minds in another way. Namely, by discussing his ambition to utilize his SpaceX space company to help establish a colony of up to like, I don't know, 80,000 people on the surface of Mars. What is it? SpaceX would help by offering trips to the red planet for as little as $500,000. Musk says the ticket price needs to be low enough that most people in advanced countries in their mid-40s or something like that could put together enough money to make the trip. So, instead of putting a down payment on that quaint summer house and saving for your children's education, why not plan a trip to the Mars colony? Why not? You're you. Yeah. $500,000 a ticket? This colony's gonna consist of pop stars and doctors and a scratch lotto ticket winner or two. Utopia, in other words. And speaking of money, Musk is pushing for a teamwork approach to colonization. One part private enterprise, of one part government funding with a price tag of about $36 billion, which he says is 0.25% of America's 14.5 trillion mm, GDP. Musk says some money has to be spent on establishing a base on Mars. It's about getting the basic fundamentals in place. That was true of the English colonies in the Americas. It took significant expense to get things started. Musk believes the colonization would begin with about 10 lucky souls saddled up on a reusable rocket propelled by liquid oxygen and methane. This first ferry to Mars would be a sizable one because the 10 pioneers would travel with equipment necessary for establishing a suitable living environment. It also backpacking materials for building domes and other space amenities. Pressurized domes utilizing CO2 from the Martian atmosphere could theoretically grow crops in the soil up there. And the hope is that the colony would eventually become self-sufficient. Subsequent trips would be used to send people and equipment, and as time goes on, fewer supplies would be needed and rockets would primarily be used to send brave souls willing to take humanity to the next level. And that's where the $500,000 ticket comes into play. Now, this eccentric billionaire might sound a little off his rocker, like most eccentric billionaires tend to sound, but what the heck, why not believe in his crazy vision? The private sector has taken space by the crotch and twisted it in into high gear in the last couple years and has invigorated our curiosity and love of the beyond. And there are enough people out there that don't want their tax dollars pumped into rocket fuel, so this private enterprise approach seems to be the appropriate path. Because as long as we have billionaires, you know, bored with their simple lives on Earth, we'll have a continued push for space stuff. And I like that. So there. So what do you guys think of this new push towards all the space stuff? Is it a waste of time and money, or is it something that you're really glad that we're doing as a society and a people? What is it? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, click this annotation for our five daily stories, and you can go to source Fed.com. Like, subscribe. There's a Cyber Monday sale going on over 4 I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. Have a wonderful day.